the way, how many people have heard someone say, I want to take my company to the next level? You realize they have absolutely no clue what they're talking about. Until you look at a model like this and you can see there are some very predictable stages that organizations go through. Okay, Can't you just send them an email and tell them what you expect? Oh, you did that. For this organization to survive and thrive, their focus has to shift once again. Remember, the beginning was just a focus on production. Then we had to define and document our methods and processes. Then we had to take those methods and processes and put them into a profitable sequence or a profitable system. But now we have multiple systems and subsystems that have to be integrated together. Today's agenda, I'm going to introduce you to this fellow named Elliot Jacks. We're going to take a look at his model. His model is called Requisite Organization. We're going to take a look at principles inside Elliot's model of Requisite Organization. We're going to take a look at some application exercises. We'll actually do some things today. And then at the end, we're going to take a look at a comprehensive project map, just in case you drink a little too much Kool-Aid today.